Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to redirect the WooCommerce plugin into a custom thank you page after a successful checkout. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So by default, your customers will be redirected to the default thank you page. However, we would like to change it and redirect them to this page, the custom thank you page that we created. So there are two ways to achieve it. The first way is by using a function and the second way is by using a plugin. Let's start with the first option, using a function. Let's navigate into appearance and then team editor. Over here, we're going to look for the functions.php file on the right side. Click on it and scroll all the way to the bottom of this document. Here, we will need to paste our function. Now navigate into the written blog post. You have the link in the description down below. And inside the blog post, you will have the function that you will need to use. Let's copy it from here and we'll paste it back in the team editor over here. And all we need to change is this text over here with the actual URL of the custom thank you page. So I'm going to copy the link of the page. And I'm going to paste it over here. And when I'm done, just clicking on update file, getting the green feedback that the file was updated successfully. And now I can test uh, the process and make sure we actually been redirected to the custom thank you page. So I'm going to run through the checkout process really quick, filling the relevant information. And now I'm going to click on place order. And I can see that I was redirected to the custom thank you page successfully. And this function is working perfectly fine. We can also redirect WooCommerce by using a plugin instead of a function. So first of all, let me delete the function that we entered a second ago. I'm going to update the file and the plugin that we are going to use called Custom Thank You Pages by Yeet. You can get it from the official website for full price. It's going to cost you about $79 or you can get it from us, the exact same plugin for only $4.99. The only difference is that we don't provide technical support because we didn't create a plugin, we're just redistributing it. So if you know how to use it, you definitely save a lot of money and get it from us. Whatever you choose, it's fine with us. Just download the plugin, navigate into plugins, add new, upload plugin, and choose the zip file that you just downloaded either from us or from the official website. Install and activate the plugin. And then navigate to the new git custom thank you page tab over here. Here you will need to make sure that the custom thank you page option is enabled and set to yes. You have the option to redirect it to a custom page on your WordPress website or to external website. And here you can choose the custom thank you page you created from the drop down list over here. When you're done, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on save settings and then click on leave. Great, now go to the checkout process once again, test it, make sure it's working correctly and it will. Now the cool thing about this plugin is that you can set different thank you pages for different products. So for example, you can create a custom thank you page for anybody who purchased a t-shirt. And on the other hand, you can create a different custom thank you page for all the customers who purchased shoes. Okay, that's pretty cool. It can help you with your revenue and with the upsells uh, that you can offer. In order to do that, let's move on to the rules tab. Here we can click on add rule. You can create custom thank you pages based on products or categories, etc. So let's say we want to create a custom thank you page for a specific product. I'm going to look for the product over here. Right now I only have one, so I'm going to look for it, the t-shirt. And here I can decide what is the custom thank you page that the customers will be redirected after purchasing this specific product. So I can create a rule over here. When I'm done, click on add rule, leave, and the rule was created successfully. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know either by leaving a comment below this video or inside the blog post. I can respond way faster over there. I will see you all in my next video.